Greetings, everybody, on SidFestPatriot.com. Thanks for tuning in. This is Chris Foster with Fostering America. And ladies and gentlemen, I, I I can't even believe that we're back here. I I can't believe that we're... I, I feel like we're at square one with this healthcare debate. And I am extremely frustrated, like I'm sure many of you are, that the Senate would stoop to such a immoral plan as to the one that they have stooped in order to pass or attempt to pass this shoddy, unneeded, unwanted legislation. If you don't know, ladies and gentlemen, that the Senate is trying to pass the health care legislation that was first put forth in April by attaching it as a rider onto another bill that's already been passed in the House. They will then take that bill, attach this health care to it as an amendment, and send it back to the House for approval in which the House may not even debate it. If they do not debate it and they vote on it, they will almost assuredly pass it. And just like that, the health care bill becomes reality. I don't know why I'm even calling it a health care bill. It's really not a health care bill. If you wanted just a health care bill, uh, to pay for the health care of the people that don't have uh, don't have health insurance right now. It was calculated by the Heritage Foundation that you would only need about $21 billion to pay for that. And we're talking about nearly a trillion, nearly a trillion dollars in this bill. And it's full of all sorts of pitfalls. It's full of all sorts of traps, and you've heard it before. All the traps that were there before are still there. They may be in different forms, but they're still there. Ladies and gentlemen, I come to you tonight as not just an American. I'm not a Republican. I'm not a Democrat. And I don't care what you are either. We're Americans. And we do not need this. We can take care of ourselves. We need to have choices. We, we need to make choices on our own. We do not need the government making choices for us. And that's what this bill is. This bill is 100% the government is going to make choices in your everyday life for the rest of your life, whether you like it or not. And oh, by the way, we're going to do it to your kids, and we're going to do it to their kids, and we're going to keep doing it until somebody finally stands up and says no. No more. My friends, I don't want that time to come. The time to say no is now. Not after not after three generations of misery. Three generations of the government stepping in where they don't belong. Invading your privacy. Ladies and gentlemen, please. I I I'm not going to ask you to to contact your legislators. But I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. And you'll see this on SteadfastPatriot.com come tomorrow. I am going to... Con I, myself, I've done it before. I did it back in April. You can read the letter that I wrote to my, my uh, House of Representatives uh, representative, Stephanie Herseth from South Dakota. I wrote her a letter back in April questioning why she was going to vote for this bill, why she didn't oppose it strongly. You can read that out on SteadfastPatriot.com. Come tomorrow, I will have a letter on SteadfastPatriot.com 
that will be sent to not only Representative Herseth, but also to Senator Johnson as well. And I'll probably copy Senator Thune in as well. All of these people are from South Dakota. Even though I know that Senator Thune strongly opposes this bill, I'd still like him to know how I feel. And I, and folks, you know, I'm, I'm not suggesting that you do this, but if you want to, if you read this letter on Steadfast Patriot, feel free to copy it and just change the name. Change my name, change the senator or representative's name, and go ahead and send it. You've got my permission. Go ahead and send it to your senator, send it to your congressman. Let them know that this will not pass. That if they do pass this, we will make sure that in 2010, people are replaced. People will be replaced by other representatives and other senators who will undo this. They must know that this, by voting for this bill, it will, in, a, in essence, remove them from office. That is it. We are done. And I also want to send a message to Washington in this letter. This letter will send a message to Washington saying, we do not want you to spend one more cent. Not one. No bills for sp that include any money. Not one. We are done paying for all of this. Until you can get your house in order. Until it can be demonstrated that, that we're actually re reducing our debt. That we are increasing the value of the dollar. That our, that our monetary standing in the world is now is better more improved and not only better and more improved but the best the best in the world right now we are failing we are failing our children we are failing our children and we're failing our grandchildren as the dollar grows weaker we lose power we must reverse this course and it starts by not allowing Washington to spend one more penny of our money. Ladies and gentlemen, you already know that the minority in the House and Senate cannot stop this. The only ones who can stop this are us. And we went through this in April, and we I know we went through it in, you know before in, in, in August as well, but it's back again. And until these people are removed from office, until they're voted out, we are going to have to go through this over and over and over and over. But we have to prove to them that we are going to be as relentless as they are trying to be by trying to force this thing through and, and shame on Harry Reid. Shame on Harry Reid for trying to do it this way. It's a farce. It's a joke. It's, it, it is reprehensible that he would attempt to sneak this trillion dollar legislation in as an amendment on another bill that has absolutely nothing to do with health care. It's ridiculous. And if it wasn't for the greatness of this nation, I would be ashamed I would be ashamed. I am ashamed of Harry Reid. And I feel sorry for the people from Nevada who voted this guy in. And I surely hope that in 2010 they will correct that error. This is Chris Foster for SteadfastPatriot.com. Thanks for listening, everyone, and God bless the United States of America.